global shift to a vegan diet would reduce emissions and mitigate costs 80%. Governments worldwide are challenged with the task of reducing greenhouse gas emissions that cause global warming. The Netherlands Environmental Assessment Agency analyzes and makes recommendations for Dutch and international policy for environmental sustainability. In February, researchers issued a proposal involving a dietary change that would also reduce the cost of mitigating global warming. Department Director Dr. Joop Ouder Lohos said in a phone interview that this study was one of a growing number being conducted in Europe. We are now at the point that um, science has more and better numbers on the effect of uh, changing the diet and eating less meat. Um, so there's more consensus on that side if you look at the, the total picture of the chain. Uh, it did lead to uh, several heavy discussions in uh, Germany, in the Netherlands, some in Belgium and in the UK. The Netherlands study entitled Climate Benefits of Changing Diet analyzed the entire chain of animal raising activities from field to fork. It calculated the monetary cost of halting climate change, which was defined as stabilizing atmospheric CO2 at the level of 450 parts per million. The report concluded that 20 trillion US dollars, or 50% of a total 40 trillion US dollars estimated cost, could be saved from the global shift to a low meat diet. What would happen in the case of a vegetarian or vegan diet? If you would go for a completely uh, meatless diet, in the next uh, 10 to 15 years, then in the year 2050, you would have a 70% reduction of uh, uh, attaining the climate goals. That's a substantial cost reduction in getting to the uh, same climate targets. Going even further, the researchers found that a completely vegan diet with no animal products would save an enormous 80% by 2050. What's more, another benefit was discovered. Because plant-based diets produce much more food for humans than meat and dairy-based diets, some of the land not used to grow livestock could be turned back into carbon-absorbing forests, which are known to help reduce CO2 emissions. We assume that the grasslands that were, in that case, not used by cattle anymore, they would go back to their natural state. And for that reason, uh, several parts of the world will grow forests and uh, retain carbon uh, in terms of uh, more woodland. Dr. Aldo Lojos said the trend toward plant-based alternatives to meat has already gained momentum as consumers learn about meat's harm to health and the environment. Well, if you look, if you look around in shops now, uh, maybe uh, two years ago there were four or five or six alternatives in terms of uh, a soy product of, or a or alternatives for, for a piece of meat, and now it has, uh, it has uh, quadrupled. Maybe there are 20 or 25, and it is a very easy way. It's a very easy way to change your uh, buying behavior and uh, have a, a fantastic uh, quality of your meal and uh, it saves lives as well. We thank Dr. Joop Ouder Lohos and the Netherlands Environmental Assessment Agency for demonstrating to us the tremendous power of a plant-based diet in reducing both financial costs and our carbon footprint.